Just over two weeks ago, Kevin McQuillan carried the coffin of INLA man Michael Kearney, shot dead by the group calling itself the INLA Army Council. Early this morning, Kevin McQuillan himself became a target of that group. According to those in the McQuillan house at the time, 18-year-old Eamon McQuillan was confronted by two gunmen when he answered a knock on the door. He was told to lie down and then shot in the head, they say. Shots were then fired into the living room at the IRSP's press officer, Terry Harkin. These men then proceeded down the hallway where they shot our National Vice Chairperson Kevin McQuillan in his bedroom. They shot Kevin twice in the head and once in the back. Uh, present in the room when Kevin was shot and indeed being carried, carried in his arms at this time were his two-year-old daughter and his five-year-old son. His 11-month-old daughter also narrowly avoided death when one of the rounds that the would-be killers fired at Kevin went straight through her cot. There's a joint RUC British Army base about a hundred yards from the house and the IRSP members staying there obviously considered it a safe location. In the event, it turned out to be otherwise. After the shooting, both the McQuillan brothers were taken to hospital. Eamon is still in intensive care where his condition is described as stable. Kevin McQuillan discharged himself after initial treatment, however, and is said to have gone into hiding. As vice chairman of the IRSP, Kevin McQuillan was a leading opponent of the move to disband the INLA. As such, he would have been a prime target for the group wishing that disbandment, the group calling itself the INLA Army Council. That group, in a statement admitting the shootings, said it had singled out Kevin McQuillan in order to deal what it called a psychological blow to the IRSP. Terry Harkin, however, has said that the IRSP won't give in to what he terms these monsters. <laughs>